guys and welcome to a vlog. It is um, Tuesday afternoon and I'm having a really demotivated day and sometimes I get requests of things that I do or can do to make myself feel more motivated when I'm having a demotivated day. Now for the most part I am a very motivated person and very good at self-motivating but that doesn't mean that I'm immune to days like this where everything feels like a drag, everything's taking me three times as long as it should, I'm sat staring into space, I'm aimlessly scrolling through my phone, I'm generally not getting on with stuff. So I thought that I would just vlog the process of me trying to get some really basic things done that I need to get done today. Um, because yeah, like I don't run at 100% all the time. Firstly, I think like I look like shit today and I'm really tired so that's not helping but I also haven't made much effort today and sometimes that doesn't make you feel better. Some days it's absolutely fine and I love just having a bit of a slobby day with no makeup and chilled clothes and stuff um, and actually really relish those days but other days I think if you're generally feeling a tad uninspired and a bit slower than usual it actually doesn't help in any way to make you feel motivated so I'm going to go make myself look a bit more presentable. Now not very much because I don't have very much to do today so I don't want to put loads of makeup on or anything to then just take it off in a few hours when I chill out for the evening. Um, but I'm gonna make, that's the first thing I'm gonna do, make myself look a touch more presentable. And um, then we'll go from there, but that's step one, let's go. So I've got the last t-shirt to pick up for testing basics today. It took a bit longer than to come in the post than I was hoping for. So I think that video will be up on Wednesday now. It's gonna be a bit later than I had hoped it would be. Um, because of how long this t-shirt's taken to come and I go away tomorrow and I want to wash them all here at home like how I normally would rather than in a hotel or something just so that I know how they're being all washed and that's the next thing that I need to do is to wash them obviously once I've got and worn this last one and as you can see I have one on today um, so yeah, that will be with you really soon. I'm sorry it's taking such a long time. It's also because it's 10 t-shirts. Um, and I'm trying to make sure I'm wearing them like all for the, a decent amount of time. It's like the whole day, which is easy with t-shirts because they're just staying them till bedtime. But yes, I've still had a touch, a touch of a delay. Hmm, the camera just turned itself off. I'm not having a cooperative hair day by any stretch of the imagination. Some days having a fringe is just such high maintenance. Anyone with a fringe will know, you just don't have a good fringe day sometimes, which is relatively often for me. So annoying. Just trying to pull the right amount of hair out the sides. Okay, bit better. Bit better. Put a bit more slap on, but not too much. Um, I, ooh, yeah, I go to Amsterdam tomorrow and Lisbon this weekend. And the weather has been so lovely here. I mean, unseasonally lovely. There is definitely a ridiculously warm February going on. I keep forgetting it's February. Um, oh, my friend, I just want to put my hair in a headband and forget about it today. I'm still really liking the Armani Power Fabric Concealer. So I'm just going to pop some out of my face and try to cover up these really formidable eye bags. Um, Lindsay's coming around in a bit and we're planning, going through the questions for the podcast. Thank you so much for everybody who replied on Instagram. Um, so we're going to go through them all and pull them into categories and then pull out specific ones to guide the categories but it's going to be quite a job um, but over the weekend I discovered that I, I can access my rooftop in my flat which I had no idea that I could um, and seeing as the weather's so nice we're going to go up there to do this task and do it in the sunshine which definitely makes it a lot more enjoyable it is very enjoyable anyway it's just one of those um, time consuming tasks that you can't cut corners with so she should be here in about half an hour and I'm hoping to get through all the other things on my to-do list that will are easily done in half an hour but have been taking me the entire day because it's one of those days and I'm that way out and they do happen to the best of us I want to get rid of my fringe well that mostly just took a hairbrush and a lick of mascara to make me feel 
a bit more, less like I've been asleep for a thousand years. Quick phone check. Okay, Linz isn't on her way yet. Um, wait, actually, let me just check. Let me know when you're on your way back. Wonder. Okay, okay. Quick email check. Nothing else new and urgent. Um, I'm gonna wait for Linz to reply to that message. She was online now, so she should reply pretty sharpish. And then I shall um, go. No, then what should we do? Then what should we do? Let's think about this logically for a second. I need to go pick up the last testing basis t shirt, which is a Tesco over the road, and I'm also gonna get food in for dinner all at once. That's gonna be a bit of a multitask moment. Lindsay's just left. I've just ordered myself some food on delivery. Um, I'm about to make an excuse like I would normally cook, but because I'm away for the next few nights, I don't want any food in the house. I'm just to go off. So that comes in about 20 minutes. In that 20 minutes, I'm gonna take off all the things on my to-do list that are computer-based, which is replying to some specific emails, checking on online for my flight tomorrow, sending over some content. And I could definitely do this in 20 minutes, and this is like a specific time frame. I need to get this done in. So I've got this. And then the next big thing on the list is packing. I've moved, get, going to get the parcel till tomorrow morning because then I'll wear the ASOS t-shirt tomorrow. Um, Because obviously I've already got one on today. So I should move on to that tomorrow morning first thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Email time. Right, guys, moved on to packing. Now it's over with. And then tidy up things, just some mugs there and things, and mess, mess, and all mess, mess, mess on the floor. Chocolate on my chin. Oh no, no, no. That's barbecue sauce, not chocolate. That's a good look. I've also decided to quite like to add having a shower into the mix. I mean a bath, but it just feels ambitious right now. And I'll need to finish a blog post as well. And stop looking like this. What's this quiff? Good morning guys, it is about um, quarter to nine on the following day. I've already had a relatively productive morning. Um, another thing I'd say about being self-motivated is knowing what times of day is best for you. Mine's the morning, like sometimes I can feel so stressed that I'm not sleeping and then wake up early and feel like I've got so much to do and honestly do all of it in an hour. Because I'm just so much more on it in the morning than I ever am. Mid afternoon is at my worst time, late evening I can pick up again, but the morning is just the best time for me. So sometimes I cut my losses the day before and say, Go to bed early, wake up early, and then I'll blitz through it ten times quicker in the morning, which has been the case today. Um, so I'm all packed and now I'm just walking to Snappy Snaps to pick up some film for going away because I don't have any film. So I'm gonna go up there and then to um, pick up the ASOS parcel so I can film the intro for testing basics and then pack that with me and uh, wear it while I'm away. I'm packed and ready to go. Five minutes before the time I needed to leave so I'm going to order, oh my shiny, order, oh god I need to put some powder on my face, order an Uber, put some powder on my face, have a wee and then go get the Heathrow Express. But we're packed, testing basic intros filmed, got the final t-shirts that I need with me. 
everything's going well except my face which isn't going well at all jesus hello guys let's spin this way so the light's a bit nicer i am in amsterdam now um doing working here for the day so i thought I'd continue on the theme of productivity um and just basically have the whole day vlogging um it is a quite a nice day today but it was nicer here yesterday but it's still quite nice today just started editing together this vlog um i don't know if i'm putting enough tips in how i be self-motivated really and maybe need to try and think of some really specific ones but i mean aside from all the obvious ones that people always say like write lists i actually don't always write lists it, that tends to be something i only do if i'm struggling to remember everything i need to do but for the most part i always remember quite well what i've got to get done in a day um and i don't do bullet journaling or anything like that I just didn't i've tried it before but i didn't find the method efficient found it too time consuming to write that stuff out um when it, i do kind of find it okay to remember stuff like i said just in my head um oh yeah i would also say have a really good playlist i just you know how much i love my playlist and i share them on my blog a lot quite a lot of you guys ask about music but there's loads of blog posts about music on um over on my blog but listening to music definitely massively helps and going for a walk these are all things you've heard me say before but i went for a walk this morning i'll go for a walk again this afternoon and probably this evening before we go out for dinner tonight um but yeah i will we'll do we'll do a walk later i'll take you on that and i know most people can't just get up and leave their office to go for a walk but if you can walk to work or walk out on your lunch break i find walking and listening to music is a huge way that fully takes you away from a screen and from at your desk and everything like that so that massively massively helps um and yes i'm gonna do some shopping this afternoon like i said i go to lisbon tomorrow and i want to film some um bits and outfit out stuff so I'm going to go to Amazon stories and see what they've got in here. So I'll take you all on to that. I don't want to buy loads. Maybe just like a nice summer dress or something that I'm confident I can buy now and will wear a lot throughout the summer. So um, I'm going to take you along when I go and do that. Um, I'm not going to go just yet though because it's only 9.30 here. So I'm going to do a bit more work first. But just, yeah, I thought I would just check in, share all this stuff with you. Um, What else? What else? Yeah, I've been, you've probably noticed I've been back and forth throughout myself quite a lot recently. And you've also probably gathered that it is for a boy. <laughs> um, I've been seeing a guy who lives over here and I'm sure I'll definitely put, get him to be in a vlog soon, but he's at work right now, so it won't be right now. Um, but yeah, I sort of thought I'd better address that because the questions will come thick and fast. Um, so I'll make sure that to introduce you guys to, to him very soon. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just going to go through some emails and I also left a comment on in my discuss section on my blog asking you guys what you want to see over there. I really want to push my content harder and further um, but I want to make sure I'm doing it in a direction that you guys want to see as well. So if you could just pop over to there and answer the question it would be very 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 helpful. I'll leave a link to the chat set section of my blog or just let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you want to see on my blog like I feel like I've been moving away from specific outfit posts and sharing more of like travels and big posts with travels and outfits in but then I don't know if everything feels shoppable enough if you want more outfits if you want more wish lists but then I kind of want to move away from like shop 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 bye 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 and more just sharing you what I'm actually wearing and what I'm doing when I'm wearing it all through film photography but then I've been doing that for a while I wanted to make sure it was actually what you guys were enjoying so any feedback on that would be very much appreciated
are back now from a little shopping trip and I'm packing, like I said, for Lisbon. So I thought that I would show you what I'm packing because maybe that would be sort of interesting for like a little mini break in the spring or in the summer when you've only got hand luggage, you're just going with hand luggage. So I need to, to I'm going for two nights, so I need two evening outfits, travel, daytime -y stuff. Um, so I thought I might as well show you what I'm thinking. So well, these are the trousers that I ended up going with out of the stories. Now I've got black knickers on, as you can very clearly see, um, but I'll just wear like skin colored ones and I think that'll be totally fine. But I guess this gives you a good impression of how see-through they are. Um, and then this is gonna be my outfit for Friday evening, basically. And I just got my weekday t-shirt on, but I'll be wearing the ASOS one by the time I'm there. This Arquette blazer, and then these shoes are Topshop last season. Don't know if they still do them, highly doubt it, but I'll check, everything else is available. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be my evening one outfit. I really like these trousers, the fit of them, the fact they're like a stretchy waist, reminds me of my totem black knitted ones, um, but obviously much more summer appropriate and less expensive. So highly recommend these. They also come with a matching top as well, which I didn't try on a bit too matchy matchy for me but I just feel like these are going to be the kind of thing I wear loads knowing how much I've worn my totem ones so yeah this is my first outfit I really like this outfit really like it so I'm excited to wear this right daytime number one I'm not sure of how hot it's going to be there well I am it's going to be like 18 19 degrees but you guys have a look at the weather and forget what that temperature feels like that's where I'm at so I've got on here a realization par mini skirt it's from their new collection it's very mini indeed over that, a big baggy oversized shirt from weekday. I might change this to a t-shirt, depending on how warm it is. Or if it's colder, and then have just draped over my shoulders my Ray cashmere jumper. Um, I really like how it looks tied around your shoulders anyway, but then if it gets cooler, like shady, or a bit breezy, or into the evening, I can just pop this over. And it still works really nicely with the outfit. I shall show you, I shall show you. I feel like the skirt might be a bit too short to raise your arms in without flashing the world but it is an elasticated waistband so if you wanted to make it a bit longer and wear it on your hips so, so i have a bit more fabric from under the jumper then i could do um so they would be like this let me just get my collar out and then the shoes were sent to me they came literally like yesterday just before i left london and they're from by far i've never had a pair of by far shoes before so I'm really excited to review these properly for you guys and let you know what I think of the quality because they're like a massive brand on Instagram. Um, but like I said, I've never, I've never bought anything from there. I still haven't because these were sent to me, but I'm interested to see what they're like. Um, and yes, this is my look. It's nice to like this shirt so old that I've got into here and it's nice to wear some of the wintry things into spring and properly transition and make the most of my wardrobe going through the seasons and stuff. So this should be day one. Okay, for another evening outfit, I have on a really old and the stories black long sleeve shirt dress that I cut the bottom off. Uh, my also very old toe tem blazer, and then I put the by far shoes on again. But I think I'll either wear these or the top shop heels, depending on how easy these are to walk in. I'm guessing this is an outfit that's absolutely not going to be warm enough for the evening. So I imagine it's going to be like 14, 15 degrees in the evenings. So I'm probably going to be too cold, so this might get completely revised, but um, I'm not sure if I care. Okay, there was lots of sounds everywhere that I was listening to. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm bothered about being too cold. Sometimes it's just worth it and I want to feel summery, but famous last words, I'm going to regret this. Um, but I still am obsessed with this toe tem blazer. I'm so glad I've kept hold of it for so long. And I'm liking the styling options with these shoes. I'm just worried that they're going to be a bit wide for my feet and won't stay on especially if it's cold in an evening and you know your feet sort of shrink so the top shot ones with the ankle strap to hold my feet in might end up being a better option and then finally i'm going to go for something mega preppy for the last day my trusty old uh, reformation black mini skirt this is the jumper that i just bought from and other stories today this like sleeveless button down which i think i'll wear a lot my church is broke, and the bag I'll wear for all my outfits, this was also sent to me last week from Elen. I have like a black furry wintry one, and they sent me this one which is perfect for summer and injects a nice bit of summerness into this outfit, obviously with some sunglasses too. 
Um, it's kind of dark, but I don't know, I really like it. It feels really just preppy and schoolgirlish, but in, in a really good way. Um, so yes, these are my outfits. I'll travel in my brogues. I'll take a pair of jeans always, just in case. A pair of jeans, the big cashmere jumper that I'll wear over the outfit on day two. And then my um, Arquette blazer. So all the stuff, the heavy stuff I'll travel into. Um, and yeah. That's what I'm going to wear. I'm really excited to wear all these outfits and to shoot them all too. So you'll see, watch this on Sunday and we'll probably have seen some of them on, online already at this point. Um, but I'm, I also bought one more shirt from Adam Stories. I got the, the linen one with the, that was very Jack and Moose with the um, crossover front of the buttons at the side. I bought that as well, which I'm going to wear tonight out for dinner. Um, but yeah, I'll link everything in the description box too. Back in the cashmere jumper, I'm back in this position now. Um, I'm just going to finish this vlog here. I've just edited it all and I'm really happy with it. I feel really good about it. So I may as well just, you know, quit while we're up. <laughs> um, I'll leave all the links for everything that I tried on, even the stuff I didn't buy in the description box, and then obviously everything that I bought and other things that I was styling them with for the trip this weekend. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try and film a video while we're away as well to show you the outfits in situ, as it were. Maybe just one on my phone, like I did in Paris a few months ago. Um, but yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog and feel really happy with it. Like I've had a vlogging mojo going on this week, which is nice. And I was testing basics t-shirts, it's going to be up on um, Wednesday. So that will almost be with you by the time you're watching this very soon. You just need to go home and wash them all and wear the ASOS one and then it's all done. Wash and final bit. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.